this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Tonight I am going to be sharing my uh, Tip Tuesday or Tuesday Tip, however you want to say it. Basically when I paint my glasses I use the Folk Art Enamels or the Folk Art Multi-Surface Paints. There's no glass preparation as far as anything that you have to do the to the glass other than make sure that it's clean. You know, by hand washing, by rubbing, uh, denatured rubbing alcohol over the outside of it so that you get, away, get rid of any of the grease and fingerprints, dirt, that kind of thing that, that would be on the exterior part of the glass. So there's nothing that you actually have to apply to the glass before you start painting with the actual paint. But some people will ask, well how do you finish the product, do you spray it with varnish, do you apply anything at all to make the paint more durable, longer lasting, um, and my answer to that is with this type of paint you don't actually have to apply anything. It does either require baking or air drying for 21 days to fully cure the paint. Other than that, there's nothing that's required as far as added coatings, varnish, mediums of any sort to make the paint more durable and longer lasting. If you want to add something to that process, I highly recommend the Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe Gloss just as an added protection. It's not required, so that's very important for you to understand that with the folk art paints for glass you do not have to add anything to the finished paint design in order for it to be uh, finished. So basically just the tip that I'm doing today is if you do glass painting and you wish to add something to it to make sure that it is more durable then this would be the product to use. I don't recommend spraying. Now, that's my personal uh, preference. So if you're somebody that's good at using spray, paint, spray, varnish, that type of thing, then knock yourself out if you feel like doing it. The problem I have with it is that that is not going to be non-toxic and what the products that I'm using are. The other problem that you're going to find is overspray. I try to keep this on the actual design and not on the bare glass if possible. So that, that is a factor. I would not want to see overspray on the actual glass which it's very likely that you will have that. So keep that in mind. However, like I said, if you're somebody that's proficient at doing these sprays, then you know do what you feel comfortable with. It's definitely not necessary, but you surely can do that if you feel like you just want to make sure that the design lasts lasts a bit. Keep in mind too with with you know hand hand painting. Really, the glassware should be being treated as if it's fine china. I don't know if anybody is familiar with fine china, but you do delicately wash that by hand and dry it, put it away. I'm not saying that to not use the glassware like you mainly use your good dishes once or twice a year. I'm not saying that at all. It's just that. You know, it's just paint so it can scratch. The thicker you apply it like this is a th pretty thick coating on here the more durable that design is going to be. I do know that if you paint it very thinly you're going to find that it will scratch very easily. It's hand painted it can scratch so I would never guarantee somebody that the paint can't scratch because it can. But just in, like in life, you know, your paint on your car can scratch. 
you know, if you do something that's, um, I want to say, that you, if you do something that is like you're really, you know, hard, you hit your car door onto somebody else's vehicle or whatnot, you're going to see damage, just like with your painted glass. If you don't handle it properly, you're going to see damage. If you feel the desire to place your painted glassware in the dishwasher, it is dishwasher safe. However, definitely only place it in the top rack of your dishwasher, provided that you just have a, a I want to say residential, but just for the basically that you don't have a commercial grade dishwasher because typically those will run hotter I'm understanding and it's very possible that the paint could still melt off if you if you use a commercial grade dishwasher so just be careful with it safety if you want to side on the side of caution that would be placing it in your hands and washing it with a non-abrasive detergent, non-abrasive pad, washcloth, whatnot, whatever you wash your, your items with if you're washing by hand, and then you dry it nicely and put them away. I, mean, I've, I have a coffee cup right now that I painted a long time ago, just like towards the beginning of glass painting, so it's been a while. Honestly, that beast gets thrown in the sink because you're not supposed to put it in standing water and let it sit. It has some scratches in it, but for the amount of <laughs> wear and tear that that poor glass has had, or cup, it's actually a coffee cup, it's, it's held up rather well. So just keep in mind, like I said, this is a hand-painted item, so treat it as such. It's not something that is uh, like pottery where the design is baked into it or baked on it, printed on it, that type of thing. This is hand painted with paint. So yes, can it scratch? Absolutely. Can it last for a long time? Absolutely. So treat it with care. Add that extra step. Put your dishwasher safe Mod Podge on there and you're good to go. So if you like my video, my tip for Tuesday, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you get notifications whenever I post something new. And until my next video, you have a good one.